Um, my name is Mike Sudlowski. I'm with Live Oak Landscape Contractors. I'm with John Baranello, and uh, we are continuing the conversation here in Scott Plains about this beautiful patio that we're working on. Um, last week, I don't know if you're following us, but last week uh, we didn't have this area laid out um, on the on the on the plan, uh, and that and that was because um, the pool had just been decided. Um, had just been approved, if I can say, right? Yeah. Okay, so, you asked, um, having said that, you did a, a beautiful job keeping this nice formal design, um, and yet the pool is set off to the side exactly where the client wanted it. Yeah, the, the, this part of the yard is perfect for the pool to be set back close to the, closer to the property line for a little bit more privacy and separation from the driveway. But I wanted to somehow attach the two. So what I did was I'm carrying over the salt and blue stem that you see on this patio here. It's going to go to a different material here and then jump back to that material so everything's interconnected. And it's going to go through these two seating walls I had. And then it's going to sort of explode into the pool area. And then this material will then be repeated around the pool. So with the materials working and the axis that I have, everything connects even though the pool is not on the main axis line. It doesn't need to be. Nice. Now, one thing that jumped out to me, and I'm not going to compete the design, and I know plus is always a, a, a factor. I know a rectilinear pool. Is this a 20 by 40 John? No, it's smaller. Smaller. Yeah. So I noticed that um, it's, it's purely rectilinear. Is there a chance that we could get some decent curves or some curves in here to match the curves that we have here on the patio in the pool area, or the client is just looking for as much swimming area as possible? No, they're working with the, the pool contractor, and there actually is a little bit more detail on the pool. It's just in our computer program, we put the rectangle. But uh, this is actually what the client wanted. We're going for very simple, sort of a reflecting pool style, classy, with the straight angles. We're not going to really go nuts with any Grecian curves on this particular design. Okay, okay. One of the things I want to talk to you about was, when I came around the corner, um, I was just blown away by how beautiful this brick looks. The client selected a brick that actually um, actually picks up what's on the house and, and it brings up my favorite subject and, and yours as well. I know you were really happy with this conversation where we extend the architecture from the house out into the landscape. you want to talk a little bit about that, John? Yeah, extending the architecture is huge. I think it's the most important thing to do when you're designing. Um, one very easy way to do it I hate doing it any other way because if there is an existing material that's built on the house, I like to find that exact material and use it on my project because then it looks like this is all built when the house is built. And it just adds more value aesthetically and monetarily and it's just, it's just the right thing to do. So, the spin the architecture is taking um, a material or a feature, right? In this case, we took a material and used it they have it on their veneer in the front of their home, and obviously they have the siding in the back, but the siding actually uh, marries with this beautifully in color and texture. The other way to uh, extend the architecture is actually grab a feature from the house yeah. and have the feature um, bang out into the landscape. Yeah, it, when you can. I mean, a lot of times when you come to newer homes, the back of the house is this plain white piece of bread, right. siding, and there's no architectural features. So, then you go to the materials and then you do what you can. So, in this case, we went to the materials and we're just going with a very formal, simple patio and good enough for them to use in terms of size, and that's what we did. The materials here are really rich. I mean, this brick is beautiful next to the bluestone. Here we're seeing the bluestone patio, not quite finished. We've got to join this patio still. Obviously, you see the different layers here. It's kind of a seat wall. We're going to cap this with bluestone then, John. Yep. So, there's some good marrying there. But Fireplace areas going in over there. What's happening here? Are we gonna are we gonna build a hot tub area? What, what what's the client decided? Yeah, this is actually gonna just be travertine with two seat walls, and there's gonna be a hot tub in there. Okay. Hot tub is actually being purchased, and then we're gonna brick the mirror. Okay. Awesome. Well, listen, I look forward to coming here next week and seeing what progress we make next week. Absolutely. Thanks so much.